Hello and welcome. This video will answer the following question. Why do you need to take English 101 and English 102? Now, you may think that your level of English is enough to carry a conversation, understand what you read online, or even when you travel abroad. But it may not be enough for academic studies. In your faculties, you need to read academic articles and write assignments. But why? Well, because they actually teach you how to think. And that is the most important skill in your academic and professional life. If you can understand the arguments in an academic article, the use of language, and the organization of an academic text, then you can better understand arguments when you talk to an academic or a business person. The final presentation at the end of this course will teach you how to speak clearly, logically, and coherently. It'll teach you how to speak persuasively and win in an argument. Now, let's imagine you're at your first job and you want a raise. So you walk up to the manager and say, I want a raise because I deserve a raise. In most cases, you will not get it. But if you can come up with a series of arguments and specific examples from your activity of why you're good at your job and you should be paid better, you might get it. An academic text is just like this. In the introduction, the author introduces the situation and tells you their idea. In the following paragraphs, they try to convince you that their idea is right by using arguments and relevant examples. And in the conclusion, they repeat the main idea and summarize the arguments. Of course, this is a very simplistic way of putting it, but it is actually true. If you can understand the mechanism of academic text and are able to do a similar job, whether in writing or speaking, you can convince your audience that your ideas are right, valuable, and worthy to be used by others. And that is valuable. That will land you jobs and promotions in the future. It is also very hard to trick or lie to a person with solid critical thinking. So let's take a look at the aspects in which these courses will help you. Starting with developing academic language skills. This means being able to read and understand academic texts, write academic papers that are clear and well organized, give informative and persuasive presentations, and participate in academic discussions in a thoughtful and engaged way. Second one is improving critical thinking skills. This includes how to analyze and interpret complex information, evaluate different sources of information, and synthesize information from different sources to create new arguments or perspectives. Number three is preparing for academic success. You'll learn about the academic culture and expectations of your chosen institution, learn about academic writing conventions, citation styles, and the expectations for career integrity, and get familiar with the resources that are available to you such as the library, the writing center, and tutorial services. Number four is enhancing career prospects. We'll focus on how to communicate effectively in English, both in writing and in speech, learn how to conduct research and present your findings, and learn how to work independently and as part of a team. Number five is encouraging independent learning. You'll learn how to find and evaluate information from a variety of sources, manage your time effectively and meet deadlines, and develop your own learning style and strategies. And last but not least, fostering academic confidence. We'll help you learn how to deal with academic challenges and setbacks, ask for help when you need it, and celebrate your successes. Now, although not everyone will become an academic, it is important to have a good grasp of the language and knowledge relevant to your profession. Therefore, it's crucial to continually deepen your understanding and knowledge within your specific discipline, regardless of your profession. Thanks for watching.